we're looking at the Crestone Needle right across the way. Definitely looks like at least a couple parties up there and we are gonna run down that red gully, cut over and hopefully get that traverse done today, assuming the, uh, the weather doesn't deteriorate. Hope to see you there. Working a little class three action. Okay, you can see Spencer working down the red gully. And as you kind of pan down this gully, you can see here on the left, right as you're arriving at these big detached horns, that's another cube along with a bunch of cairns that you should take your left if you're planning on doing the traverse. So we'll head right on over here. And it even looks like in the far distance, there's another quite tall cairn there to guide you along your way. Okay, Spencer and I have just arrived at this mammoth cairn. Super obvious. And I would like to say thank you to all the pioneers who have climbed these routes and kind of led the way. That's super cool. Appreciate it. Spencer and I are working down a little class four as we pop over these ribs and the whole scene is well cairned. Still angling in our way downward, although I know ultimately this downward is going to turn up and we're going to be heading for that giant black Glendar. So that's in our future. It's going great. As long as the Cairns are here, so far this traverse is very straightforward. And yet another notch in another route. Make a great time on the beginning of this traverse. It's quite easy and obvious with the Cairns. 14er.com has an excellent GPS track that has been exactly on the trail. We have just hooked a bit of a left and kind of turned up a dark gully. And more class three climbing. You can probably see Spencer down below, although fairly easy class three climbing. Super sweet. Turn a little left at the dark gully. Not straight up though. I think I might be too high already. So there's Spencer leaving the dark gully only after about a hundred yards of of climbing up a little bit of class three. And then that's where we came from. And the big picture. Definitely a happy place. Cairns, Spencer. There's Cairn. Epic scene. And there's the Neil proper on the right. From this view, if you look very closely, just down and left of the very summit, there is a group of climbers down and right of that little black pillar. I think it's official. We have entered the mega adventure zone at this point. Little bit of class five climbing and then a big class four climb. We're gonna go right in that notch on the right side of the huge Glen Arm and around the corner and up the final head wall as best as I understand it. to another party who got stuck around this area and was hailed on at about 2 p.m. Mid-July or not, be ready for anything with the weather and get an early start is my best advice. Whoa, we're in a notch in the ridge on our way, cutting back up to the needle. Wow, wow, wow. My goodness.
just contoured around the bottom of the final head wall. And it seems to be working good. Nice work, man. Okay, out to be a rat we go. left is going to be where we came from. Crestone Peak. Make sure everything's tucked in. Don't sell out on any one hold. Find good foothold. Stand straight down on them. Pulling out on the rock. It's a good way to pull out some rock. And you really don't want to do that. But I have a feeling things are going to spicy up a little bit next. I think we're in more of the business now. Like a cat, baby. Spencer's cranking up the final head wall here. My best advice is just stay just off of the ridge or a ret, as it were. Wow, that's exposure right there, baby. I want you to climb wherever it's very safest. I don't want you to care about anything else. Nice work, Spencer! Are you? Push, baby. Yeah, there goes Spencer. It is official. We have just completed the Crestone Traverse from Crestone Hill to Crestone Hill. My truth of this is that it was a very cool little side hill adventure, very well marked and pleasant. The final bit was really incredible. Spectacular views, as you saw in the video. Incredible features as well. So I highly recommend doing that traverse. I thought it was just straight up class four. Pretty exposed, so you're gonna need to be prepared for that. If you're a decent climber and you're good with exposure, it should be just fine. In the distance, we're looking at the Great Sand Dunes and Little Bear, Blanca Peak, and Ellingwood Point. That's gonna be way out there. Here's kind of a larger view, and another gentleman we just met is heading down the standard descent on the Crestone Needle. To kind of give you an idea of how you wanna do that right, because there's lots of wrong ways to do it. And a wrong way could spell death, and it has for a few people. Yeah, the Grandpa Shuffle. And that's Colony Lakes below. Oh, amazing. And obviously we go off to the right in that giant cairn. We have taken the direct route, I believe it's a class four gully, just adjacent to the class three gully, which is marked by a cairn right at the base of that huge pinnacle, that little dirt patch. And I'm kind of glad. I'm happy down climbing class four. Obviously, we're on the right track because there's a million more people down there. Down that was pretty much the way it looked. Fairly difficult, steep gullies. Honestly, the climbing itself probably wasn't that much easier than the traverse and the head wall itself. These gullies up to the needle are no joke. All right, well, we are just about to Broken Hand Pass now, and. Fairly difficult descent off the needle. Beautiful views though of Castlewood Lake, as well as the needle behind me there. Spectacular. Even the marmots enjoying it. I recommend the trip. I think it's super cool. It is long. You gotta be Superman if you think you're gonna do it from the lower trailhead and still pretty darn strong if you think you can do it from the four wheel drive trailhead. I think that would be in my wheelhouse, but uh, I was happy to camp and enjoy the ambiance of the lakes. So that's my story. Hope you enjoyed the trip. Please like and subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, we will catch you on the next big adventure. I'm sure that won't be long.